hey everyone welcome back to my channel i'm gift and in today's video i'm going to be doing a work day in my life vlog now i have been putting this away for the longest time i even made one but i never posted it you know perfection but <laughs> i'm finally just going to do it and the essence of this video is to show you what a typical day in my life would look like i'll be taking you um throughout my day showing you what i'm doing the tasks that i'm working on what my job looks like all of that fun stuff so i hope you enjoyed the video so i'm having tea for breakfast and this is because i'm intermittent fasting and i can only eat lunch and dinner but yeah so i try to balance up by um, just having tea because tea is zero calories right and it's easy for me to just have that and then eat by 12 or 1 p.m. the reason why I'm intermittent fasting is because I feel like for the last couple of months I've been eating so much and not just eating so much but unhealthy food as well which is sad but yeah I'm so drawn to Nigerian food that I cannot leave it alone <laughs> I love Nigerian food a lot. I make Nigerian food a lot. I eat Nigerian food a lot and it's not great because it has a lot of carbs, right? So I'm trying to balance it up. So I'm doing portion control. I'm trying intermittent fasting. I'm also trying to switch my diet from mostly eating Nigerian food to mixing it up a bit. And recently I've been using Zero and Lifesome so they are both helping me like zero helps me to track my fasting so this is what it looks like i've been fasting for the last six i think hours and i have 12 hours left i'm not sure if that's what it means yeah i've been fasting for 12 hours instead and i have six hours left because i'm doing the 16 8 um fast yeah so i use zero to track my fasting time and then i use life song for tracking my uh, diet so what I eat how many steps I've taken what I drink and all of that so I have done this once before I did it for like two months and I gave up but I am willing to try again the goal is to try to make it a lifetime um, habit so a lifestyle rather than just doing it once and stopping but it's very difficult to stay consistent with things like this so i'm going to really try this time around because i'm very very determined i don't know if you can see it on my face but i'm really determined to get this to work so we'll see how it goes maybe i'll give people updates as i get into it but i just started so it's like my first week but we'll see how it goes i really want to help my eating habits i really want to fix it essentially So I like to start my day by checking my emails, checking my Teams um, chat to see if there is like any urgent messages that I would need to reply to. And I also um, like to like write a very simple list of things that I already have planned for the day or I probably already have it from like the previous day because sometimes I just list it out that oh I shouldn't forget to do this and then I put it on my sticky but yeah um so that's how I start my day in the mornings before actually getting into the main work I work as a developer advocate and part of my job involves me making content for developers now for today's work I currently have a few things planned and a few meetings on my calendar but the first thing I'd like to focus on today is reviewing a blog post that I've written previously um, a few days ago. I, I wrote this blog post on how you can use Cloudflare workers images to create a YouTube thumbnail. Um, that will be a tutorial on Cloudflare's documentation soon. But I wrote this and I'm just going to review it, make sure that all the code that I wrote is, you know, correct in the blog post, review the demos and all of that. Um, later on, I'm also going to be 
filming, scripting, editing videos. So I am also taxed with making video content on my company's um, YouTube channel. Um, if you would like to check that, I have it linked in the description for some of the videos that I've made in the past. But typically my workflow for that is because it's more official than my current videos that I make on this channel, I like to script them first. So I go on to script, then after scripting, I record, then after recording, I edit. So I've, I have scripted one, I want to script another one, also try to edit one that I have. So I'm doing this series called Cloud Beats, right? So it's essentially a series of videos that are very short, introductory, that teaches you concepts about the cloud, serverless in general, the web and all of that stuff. So I've released a couple of those videos, but I have more um, in that series that I would like to shoot. So yeah, that's what I'll also be doing today. And I think later on, cause my team is both EMEA and America. So I have like team distributed across this area. So our meetings tend to be towards the end of the day so like 4 p.m ish to like 6 p.m my time so i have my meetings later in the day which is nice for productivity because when i wake up in the morning i'm more focused on doing actual you know deep work i'm more focused on doing work that i won't get distracted from because i don't have meetings in the morning slash early afternoons so yeah, that's pretty much what I have planned for today. Yeah, um, like I said, I have a meeting with my team later on and we'll be working through some issues on our um, team backlog. But yeah, we'll do that later. And yeah, if anything comes up again during the day, I'll just make sure to let you all know what I'm doing. But that's pretty much what I have planned for today. I'll drive up to five to see you clothed in moonlight. What a beautiful life Now the timing is right I never could get that right Hope we don't end in goodbye so, so my current job allows me to work fully remotely and coming from a mix of doing hybrid to doing full time going to the office I prefer working remotely fully Right. One of the reasons why I don't even have the hybrid approach is because my company does not have a physical office here in the Netherlands, right? So there is no point going to the office for that, right? So I'm a fully remote employee, which is great. And I'm trying to maximize this remote um, work um, system as much as I can by not just working from home all the time, but I also try to go um, to like cafes, or um, libraries i've gone to a library once before to work from i'm also exploring different work you know locations like traveling when i'm working and all of that but yeah um i really like working remotely it gives me a lot more flexibility than if i was to go to an office for example and i especially like how easy it is for me to get from like my bed <laughs> to my workspace and also the flexibility for me to work from anywhere right so it's really what one thing i love about my job fasting is almost over i have two more hours to the end of my fast which is 12 27 but I like to prepare my lunch like an hour or 30 minutes before so that I'm able to eat quickly and I don't have to wait past the time that I fasted for. Today I'm having, let me see, because I'm following the meal plan on Lifesome. I'm going to have bo bolo bolognese with pasta. Right here it says I, I need to have the vegan one, but honestly I'm not ready to try vegan anything. So I'm going to just make meatballs and pasta. I've been inside trying to get these dollars. Trying to make more money than life makes problems. New Sally, new city, new women, nah. New weather, new leather, I'ma get it now. I'm currently reviewing a few blogs.
blog posts to both the ones that I've written and the ones that my colleagues wrote and asked for reviews on. And once I'm done with that, I am going to um, write a script for a video that I'm planning on making later this week and also review some other um, tickets that I picked up that I will be working on later today. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'll spend my next few hours doing and yeah, the life of a developer advocate. <laughs> I just wouldn't wanna be a part of Bitch, you need some water My shit hard not, they just knock off So you lost this shit when you walked off So don't talk that shit, you came back so I want to talk briefly about what I do for work because I have gotten a few questions from people asking me what a developer advocate is. Even though I made a video talking about it before um, when I announced my job here, um, video linked somewhere here. But I also want to delve into it a little bit more um, in this video. So developer advocates are developers that act as an intermediary between the company they work for and the developers that their company serves so in my case my company is a cloud slash security um, company they are operating in that area and we cater to developers right developers that are interested in building the applications from um, serverless um, networks right so what i do as a developer advocate is to advocate for my company and you know events or in spaces where they are developers right so part of my job involves me going to speak at conferences about my product um, my company's product or you know um, chatting with people online on online communities discord twitter a lot of all these places is you know how i do my advocating right so any way that i could also um get more developers on the platform is essentially what my job involves but that's just one end of it the other end is also acting as an intermediary also between the developers back to the company so what i mean by this is that whenever there is like feedback from the developers using the product i am most likely the best point of contact for that because i tend to get feedback from the people using it from the community and pass that back to the engineers building the you know um, platform so it's like a two-way thing where i'm in the middle and i'm trying to get more people to use the platform and i'm also trying to get feedback to help improve the platform as well so that's what my job entails and i currently explore different areas of it because devrel in general which is the umbrella term for developer advocacy developer relations and all of that is called developer relations right so devrel is a very large you know umbrella that fits that have different rules in it right so mine is specifically dev advocacy but there is also dev relations engineering there is community management there is so much more there's technical writers and all of that So I've gotten a few people asking me how to become a developer advocate and the core thing I'd like to share here is that developer advocates first are developers. So if you already work as a developer and you're looking to move into DevRel, then it's also a possible, you know, feat to achieve. The only thing here is, and this, don't take my word for it, this might not be true, this might be true, but this is based off of my own experience. For you to work in DevRel, you need to have some form of interest in helping or teaching developers in different mediums. So for example, I personally, I had experience making videos and tutorials and speaking and organizing events and doing all these extra, extra community related things 
before moving into DevRel because that's like a big portion of what you'll be doing at your job. But even if you don't have previous experience doing all of these things that I've mentioned, interest is very important. I feel like if you want to do the job, right, you need to be interested in it, even if you don't have previous experience. So if you're interested in giving talks or writing blog posts, before actually getting into the role, you can start trying your hands at these things. So create your own personal blog, um, apply to speak at local meetups in your community, you know, do these things so that by the time you're now looking for roles that are developer advocate roles, you already have like some form of um, work to show to back up your experience or to back up your interest if you have interest in it. Um, where to look for DevRel jobs? So there are a few places I would advise you to check out. I have them listed here on screen, or I'll put it here. I have them listed here on screen. So you can check out these um, resources or website to find out more about developer advocates, developer relations in general, where to look for jobs and all of that. I hope this helps you. It's a productive um, day because it was really nice to do the team um, wins, quick wins that I just had with my teammates. And general, generally, I'll say I have some more stuff left to do, um, like editing the video that I said I was going to edit, but I didn't have the time to, but I'll do that tomorrow. But overall, I had a good day. I have one last meeting to attend by 5.30. And after that, I'll prep to go for my dance class. So like I mentioned earlier, I registered for Afro dance class and I've been there twice. So I want to, and I registered for 10 classes, right? And it expires in October. So I want to make sure that I maximize it as much as possible and not waste my money. So I'm going to be going there around, I think it's classes for 8, so I'm going to go there around 7.30 and yeah, probably eat dinner before I head out. So um, that's pretty much what a day looks like in my life.